Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be making a Likani Kong soup. If you are new to the channel and you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. When you subscribe, click on the bell by the side and select the all option so that whenever new videos are posted, you will be one of the first to get them. Let's move on to the recipe. Now to the ingredients we are going to be using. I'm going to be using Momoi Kong, that's our water leaf. Also going to be using the Ikong leaves. They are popularly known as Ugu or fluted pumpkin leaves. I'm also going to be using dried catfish, some peppers, some stockfish, some crayfish. A full list of ingredients will be in the description. So we're going to go ahead and wash our meat, our pomo, just wash everything, debone our fish and everything. So I'm going to put the meat on fire. I'm just putting the meat, uh, shaki and stockfish on fire. I'll just season them and start cooking first. I'm doing this because my pomo is kind of soft already and the dried fish would take long to cook. So I'll cook this before putting in the other things. After about 10 minutes of cooking, I'm now going to put in my pomo, which is cow skin. I'm also going to put in my dried fish. And at this point, I'll be adding water to it. This soup does not really need this soup does not need water. So just put enough water to cook your meat. While the meat is on fire, we we'll go ahead and prepare our vegetables. Now, I like to prepare my ugu, not my ikong, <laughs> with some stock. Uh, it's, it's part of the dish. I add some stock when I'm preparing. I have to wash this in very well. It comes with a lot of sand. I washed this four times to make sure there was no sand at all. After washing, I went on to cut the leaves. I cut it as small as I could. <laughs> I don't like chunky leaves in this soup. After cutting it, just sprinkle some salt, mix it properly and set aside. Then we move on to our water leaf, our momoi kong. <laughs> we just do the same, wash it, cut it up into small bits and set it aside. 
Now you can prepare all your things, make sure everything is in order before you actually start cooking. Now the meat has cooked. I'm putting in my pounded crayf my crayfish meat, crayfish, pepper, and the rest. I'm putting it in right now. You can see that the wood, there's very little water left in this pot. This is what we want. Put in the palm oil now. Now you can really see that it's just the palm oil left. It's just the palm oil that is left in the pot. This is actually how we want it. This is, this is literally fried vegetables, <laughs> fried leaves. <laughs> you don't add any water, just leave it the way it is. You can see that the, most of the liquid here, or if not all the liquid, is just the palm oil. So I'll put in my ikong now. Now when taking your ikong or uh, fluted pumpkin leaves, squeeze them. When you squeeze, you see that you're going to extract some water. Squeeze them properly before putting it in the pot. This is just to minimize the amount of water you want in the pot. Stay it now. Taste it. You can correct seasoning now. Remember you put salt in the leaves already. We put salt in the leaves already. We don't want our food to be too salty. That's why you taste it after putting the leaf. Now I'm just going to let the leaves cook for about two minutes before introducing our momoikong, which is our water leaf. Now water leaf, as the name implies, has a lot of water. So the longer this leaf cooks, the more water it releases. So you don't want it to cook for too long. Now, our soup looks so good. We are already on our way to <laughs> eating this almost. <laughs> After putting the momo ikong, just stay covered to cook for about 3 minutes. I like my vegetables fresh. I don't want them turning brown. I like them still looking green. And here's our soup, looking delicious. It is ready. You don't want to cook this for too long. Our ah, soup is ready. Time to eat it. You can have this with your eba, with your semo, with your fufu, with your pounded yam, if you want. 
<laughs> i hope you enjoyed this recipe guys let me know in the comment section which other recipe you would like me to make if you watched till now and you've not yet subscribed to the channel please do so subscription is free you're not charged anything for subscription it will even help so that whenever new videos are posted you'll be one of the first to get them thank you very much for watching guys i'm going to eat my food now see you in the next video bye